Look, three things, I think, uh, in today's announcement. First of all, um, I hope you can see a company that is uh, performing well, performing while uh, transforming. We had our uh, highest uh, operations reliability in our record uh, in our history. We had the lowest production cost in 16 years. So the business itself uh, is running very well. Secondly, uh, we're leaning into our strategy today. We're announcing up to $8 billion more uh, investment into the energy transition this decade and up to $8 billion more uh, into oil and gas uh, in, the, in, in support of energy security and energy affordability this decade. And thirdly, uh, it's about uh, making sure that we return to our shareholders. We announced a dividend increase today of uh, 10 percent, and we also announced a $2.75 uh, billion dollar buyback. So uh, a good set of results for uh, BP. The company is working, uh, running well. The strategy uh, is working, and we're leaning in to that strategy today. Um, I interviewed uh, your, your, uh, your peer in industry, well, so one the other day, and I'm afraid that it was a, a couple of tough-ish questions because uh, there's a group called Global Witness who criticised them for pretty much greenwashing what some of their green initiatives are. Can you confirm that of that eight billion dollars extra you're putting into the transition, we are talking about real renewables here rather than transition technologies? Dare I say it, such as gas? Well, let me be very, very clear on this, um, Steve, because it's an important point. Uh, in uh, 2019, BP invested about $600 million into its transition uh, growth engines. In 2022, just three years later, uh, we invested over $5 billion uh, into our transition growth engines. This is into things like offshore wind, hydrogen, uh, bioenergy, EV charging, and yes, convenience. The majority of that spend is absolutely on the energy transition. This is a massive step up in, um, in 2019. We probably had four gigawatts in our renewables pipeline. At the end of last year, we had 37 gigawatts. We had 7,000 charge points in 2019. At the end of last year, we had 22,000 uh, charge points. So this is about a real leaning in. This is putting our money where our mouth is, uh, gone from 3% to 30% of our capital in the space of just three years. Bernard. You know better than I do, and I've followed you and the rest of the executives around the industry for a long time. There's a lot of very young technologies that need stunning amounts of investment to get to profitability. With that in mind, how accurate or inaccurate is the uh, Wall Street Journal headline the other day, CEO of BP plays down renewables push as returns lag? And the story goes into detail about how you're very disappointed with some areas of renewable investment and you want better returns from it. Just give us some context for that uh, headline and that story. So we're, we're leaning, as I said, we're leaning into our strategy today. That's what we're announcing. And, and that's because of two things, Steve. The first, uh, and importantly, is we've had three years now of track record. We have three years of delivery under our, under our belt. And that gives us increased confidence. An example, LightSource BP de developed, I think, uh, 0.6 of a gigawatt in 2019. Last year, they developed 2.6 gigawatts. So this is now a track record of delivery that we're establishing and that gives us confidence to lean in. The second thing is there's been enormous change in the world, enormous change. We've had a pandemic, we've had a war, we've had a cost of living crisis, we've had an energy crisis. And it is for those reasons that we're announcing today that we're going to spend up to $8 billion more in our uh, transition growth engines and at the same time invest up to $8 billion more this decade into oil and gas because that is what provides the energy security and the energy affordability today. So this is a leaning in of our strategy. It's based on increased confidence in our track record of delivery over three years now and it's because of the changing world. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.